Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this how to play video, I'm going to take a look at a budget deck for Doom in the Tomb event, the Secret Paladin. Doom in the Tomb event brought a number of wild cards back to the standard format and everyone is given these cards for free. So Paladin got the mysterious challenger, who am I, none of your business. Battle cry, put one of each secret from your deck into the battlefield, so this is a phenomenal card. Just create a Christmas tree of secrets and you get a 6-6 six, six all for 6 mana. And not only that, but also Avenge returned back to standard format. Secret, when one of your minions dies, give a friend or a friendly minion plus 3 plus 2. So they together form a very powerful combination. But how do you make it work on a budget? I took my old budget Secret Paladin shell, which is based on these Reborn minions. Because Reborn minions have an incredible synergy with Redemption. When a friendly minion dies, return it to life with one health. And Reborn minions, even if it's the token that dies, it still comes back with Reborn active again. So, Reborn minions redeemed, that's really powerful, especially Bone Wraith is really the superstar of this deck because it's so difficult to push through that one. And now that secrets are easier to get on the board with the Mysterious Challenger adding the Bell Ringer Sentry, then Christmas Tree of Secrets, Mysterious Challenger, a couple of Reborn minions on the board. What can an opponent even do at that point? Well, the real answer is that they can hit me in the face, because I'm not using any copies of Noble Sacrifice. And I'm not using any copies of Noble Sacrifice precisely because I want my Reborns to be resurrected. And I think that's a compromise that I have to do in order to make a budget deck work. In practice, that means that if my opponent is faster than me, if he's able to raise me down, then there's very little I can do about it, unless I happen to exactly get the bone right on the way. But if I'm faster than the opponent, then the opponent will be in very, very hot water and have to make a very difficult decision because all of my reborns, they are just really bad minions to kill. I've been relatively happy with this build. There is one potential change that I have considered, because Avenge now gives minions some additional attack, then changing this Blessing of Might into a True Silver Champion, or two copies of True Silver Champion, that's something that might improve this deck further. But that's such a minor change that I just can't get the sample size to really verify whether it works or not. Even so, already this deck is a reasonable budget deck. As for the mulligans with this deck, you want to keep your Mysterious Challenger, it's a key card in the deck. And other than that, you want to play on curb. Raisin Zealot, Secret Keeper, Temple Berserker. Then if you have a secret, then Sun River Spy, Mysterious Blade can also be potential keeps. And you don't keep secrets alone, you don't keep these secret synergy cards alone, other than the Secret Keeper itself. And then you just roll on from there, playing on curve, setting up secrets, making life difficult for your opponent, getting that big swing turn from the mysterious challenger and hopefully having enough damage to win the game. If you enjoyed this content, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And now, let's go take a look at Budget Secret Paladin in action. Alright, let's go. Is there a secret keeper on one? Redemption on one, into Sun River Spy on two, Hunter kept three cards, that's a lot of cards. Maybe it's still Secret Keeper on one. There's a reasonable chance that I top deck a secret. It's like one in one in three. Hi Decker. Oh. Well that was a surprise. I think I have to kill it. If I leave it up and he is able to deal with the Secret Keeper, then I can do a lot with that. Then we get the Sun River Spy out there. I can also drop the Never Surrender. If he plays like Animal Companion, then this one gets to 6 health, so Huffer can't kill it. To my side. 
and it can kill Misha. Okay, so it's down to two health, which is kind of bad. But we'll see. Two health, even if he uses a spell, it gains plus two health, it goes to four. So stuff like Mark just still kills it. Oh, Zepris. Zepris is so good. So this is the Highlander mech version. And he gets to destroy my secrets. My beautiful, beautiful secrets. I mean, we're going face. It's not like I have a lot of alternatives here. Next turn is the Challenger. Let's hope it works out. There was the Mark Chop too, so he had both. He had the option. And now there's a Flare in Zul'jin. So I need to finish this game before Zul'jin. Well, I suppose I always needed to finish this game before Zul'jin. I now have Redemption, Avenge, and Auto Defense Matrix up. A randomly generated Unleash. Okay. But if he if he's going to kill that, then that's not going to be a very good idea. That's not a good idea, I think. Triggers the Avenge. And summons that one back too. From the redemption. So how are you going to deal with this now? Well, now he would have to have Ziliax. I mean, he could. He could have Ziliax. He could have Ziliax. Let's see. Ziliax is the only out. For seven mana, there are no other outs. Zepris is used. Ziliax is the only out, right? And it doesn't even heal him immediately, because if he plays Ziliax, it attacks. There's the auto defense matrix. I just have a hard time seeing what, what other routes he could have here. Because this mech version often doesn't even run secrets. But we'll see. He could have like deadly shot at the challenger. But he didn't. So he dies. I'm going second, so I'm not even sure if Zelot is strong enough of a keep. <laughs> Thanks, Quagasi. Thanks for your support. Now if he has a secret, and he should because he kept that card, then that means that the Brazen Zealot will just be value traded by the Secret Keeper. But I still have to play it. Because after that I'm going to play the Temple Berserker. And then he needs another secret. To save this from Temple Berserker, maybe. Okay, so now, well, they still did a pretty good job. And if that's a freezing trap, then it can keep doing a good job. I think we have to find out. Not a freezing trap. Cool. So then what? Candle taker? Now, and everything dies to explosives in theory at least. Well, I guess Candle Taker is fine here. Let's Candle Take. Yeah, Noxy, but that's not that's nothing new. That's something that has been around for a long time already. So it could be Rat Trap, but I know it's not freezing. Explosive Pressure Plate. It could be Pressure Plate. Could be Pressure Plate. Could be Rat Trap. Tricky. Do I keep trading? He doesn't have a lot of cards. Maybe there's a way for me to get through this by trading. 
So I trade here. And I play the Temple Berserker. And I play the Avenge. And if it's pressure plate, I'm also going to coin the blade. Because then I know it's not rat trap. Yeah, I think that was okay. I did miss the chance to coin challenger next turn when I did it like this though. Perhaps this isn't powerful enough. I mean he does need a kill command or Ah oh, Ziliax will do. Ouch. Ziliax is just so good. How is it so good? I want to pull an auto defense matrix with the mysterious challenger next turn. I just have to kill Ziliax and hero power. Weak turn. But it would not have been any stronger if I didn't play that last turn. I just need to hope that this survives. Oh no! That blood stinger was insane. Oh boy. Redemption, eh? That Blood Stinger was so good here. It's not a very common card to be run in Highlander Hunter, but sometimes they do. And when it works, oh boy, it works. I think I lost this game now. Losing, losing that mysterious challenger was just such a big deal. He probably has a way to kill off the 1-1 one -one in order to trigger the redemption. But he doesn't. Drink with me, friend. That was... I don't agree with that move at all. I think that was a terrible move. Okay. The battle. I'll see if it's freezing trap. It could also be snakes in the worst case scenario. But it's probably freezing. That's six damage. Just blessing here. It's time to hit face. He can play the Blood Stinger again, but it will just pull the Silverhand Recruit now, so he doesn't want. I mean, that throwing that back into his hand when I'm not going to hold on to any cards, that was just a terrible decision. But I don't think he's going to get punished, to be honest. It's very unlikely. Slay him. Um, I try. But. Not very simple. Oh, that was such a bad move, though. That move gives me hope. They all just kill my reborns with no consideration for. Co oh, but that Siyama top deck was incredible. That was incredible. That was just so good. I have to spend so many resources just to get through that one. There might be Unleash, of course, but I can't play around Unleash at this point. I can just kill my 7-1, though. Ouch. Painful. Painful turn of events. Excellent top decking skills. Top decking skills are always good skills to have. Yeah, kill that first, then you don't mind which tr secret you trigger. Then you can play your Blood Stinger back on the board. Even though it doesn't do anything immediately, but it should be enough to keep you going. Oh no, the Defense Matrix. Need to spread my damage a little. Have to push face, but I can't push fast enough. Unfortunately, I cannot push fast enough. I lose to Unleash, I lose to Zul'jin. Something, I lose to Explosive Trap. Okay, and now he gets the Explosive Trap. Excellent top decking skills, highly appreciated. Well done, well done Hunter. Not much else I can say. So now there's snakes and there's explosives. 
and I am dead. Yeah, I'm probably dead. This will trigger the snake trap. I have to get rid of the explosive trap. So I can kill a couple of snakes here. And then this one has to trigger the explosive trap, but obviously. I mean, he's just one of this turn, so there's no way that I can kill him in a single turn anyway. Naturally result in me being the aggressor in more games. He's not going to hero power next turn yet. Who are we hitting today? No, he isn't. He might if I push him. I think it's best to play the auto defense matrix here. He might consider not completing the quest and using the hero power instead. Okay, now if he tries to Wrath for one, then he probably just loses. That's pretty good. I can't afford to kill that, right? It can proc an auto defense matrix though. So be it. I need to push. I have the other defense matrix, I have to never surrender. Yeah, swipe is not going to do the things he wants it to do. He's dead. Or is he? Seems to me that he's very dead. So, we'll see. Well, that's an easy secret keeper play. I think we're going to try another budget deck after this one. I do want the redemption out there. I could have also just hero powered and played redemption mysterious blade next turn. That was an option. I should have actually done that. This was incorrect, right? Yeah, this was incorrect. Sorry about that. I played a little bit too hastily. This one's still going face. I'm not wasting a weapon hit on the novice. Probably trying to bone rate next turn. He might be able to kill the secret keeper here. Because there are ways to get luckies and do things. That was an incredibly weak play. That's interesting. Oh, I almost want to kings this one push 6 to the face. Use my weapon to get the box slosher. And how is he going to kill that? Or I could just play a bone wraith. King's next turn. I miss 4 damage from to the face. But I get another minion that's also a good resurrect target. I think we do it like this. Something should die soon, so that I can play another redemption. With the kings, maybe. Or maybe not. So this one kills that one. My weapon kills that one. Now is the time to play kings on this one and push face. 
Next turn is the Mysterious Challenger. He has a lucky in hand. He still has the coin. I really hope he doesn't use the coin this turn, because after the Mysterious Challenger it will be much di more difficult to use. Like a butterfly. Like a bee. Oh dear, he did use the coin. For a witchy lucky, I believe. Okay, but not the greatest of witchy luckies. Mysterious challenger time. But he could he can get a After he kills this he can get a mind control tech played. I want to kill the lucky. Deny him the opportunity to Let's deny him the opportunity to use that lucky. But he can use a mind control tech. Yeah, he kills the bone rate, then there will be four minions on the board. He has 50% chance to grab a taunt. That's not good. Maybe I didn't think everything through as thoroughly as I could have. But now there are no lackeys, that means there are no wasps. Not right now. So that's something. Shaman is so strong with the evolve, yes, it is incredibly strong with the evolve. That was a weird move though. What did that accomplish? Double flesh shapers. Okay. That is enough to keep him alive, right? No, it's not because of the Avenge. He's dead. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.